Okay, come run with me as we check out the Chord Library tool. So let's click on this. Now we have seven columns and five rows of chord diagrams, blank chord diagrams. And I'm going to show you how you can create custom chord libraries uh, which will be available for sight reading uh, in the sight reader primer and also for sight reader the actual sight reader tool so how do we do this first of all uh, let's start with uh, this first shape here now you can indicate which shape you want to check out by just clicking clicking on it and a blue square will appear around it so let's uh, choose let's make a major so we click on here now you can change the fingerings by just um, clicking on it or you can click on it and press uh, a number <laughs> yeah I think it's uh, pretty much that shape there yeah so <laughs> I had to check it all right so now that we've got our shape we check down here and it's we'll click on a major because that actually happens you can choose any of these names here or you can actually just type it in I'm going to call it A not A major just A and to put it into this box what I do is I click on this little tool here called pull put or update so there we go yeah now if I click on neck in this selection here I can see it and hear it so there it is on my guitar fretboard be aware that this tool is available not just for guitar but also for four five and six string bass okay so let's uh, let's make another chord and I'm going to make a D chord now it's on the fifth fret as well I'm going to use an A shape so I will clear this and then I'm going to press key change and I'm going to press this here now it asks me if I want to choose from change the root note from A to D and I say change the root note or I can just press return and that will do this now I probably want to clear that and make my chord now I can check the notes by just clicking on this note here this uh, little button here and it shows me the notes if I click on spelling it will show me the spelling and if you don't know what spelling is uh, there will be a video tutorial for online content for all my customers okay so let's put it in here by pressing put all right now I may want a separator because I want to separate that from the next chord so going back to this shape I press add or remove right to separator and then I put again and as you can see a line has appeared now you may want to add some text so what I do is I go into info text and I type something like something ridiculous like Sean was here and let's uh, make the 30 make the font size 30 because I'm so needy so let's click on that and press submit and put yeah so Sean was here now you may want to get rid of that separator so you have to go rem remove submit put okay does that make sense okay you can blank just for the idea of formatting you can blank chord shapes if I choose click on add remove separator and I blank it I'll blank it out but I'll get a right separator so I don't want that so I want to blank <coughs> okay to get this chord I can right click on it it says send to the edit box copy to the clipboard so you can use it in other applications and add to the guitar sight reader toolbox clipboard now I've called this A and it should be D so I'm going to send it to the edit box and I'm going to change this to D and put and as you can see it's updated now I can put it here if I want 
see I can choose any of these blank spaces and update them or I can just blank them out now I've loaded up quite a few different presets for you uh, let's open this by either control O okay so here we have our open file window and maybe I can delete things like delete trial for example delete and I can choose one let's choose 2516 voicings load uh, it asks me if I want to save this one that I was working on and I'm saying don't save okay so as you can see I've formatted here uh, there's three pages in this page one of three And these chords were provided to me by Dixon Nacy, uh, who's a jazz giant guitar player in Auckland in New Zealand. Uh, let's check it out. Two, five, one, six. So there's some really pretty two, five, one, six uh, progressions. Let's uh, check the next page. I took the liberty of uh, changing it to all six strings okay let's uh so we've got uh three pages of that and as you can see i added some text here um i didn't put the fingerings in for these top ones i should do that or well, these top two don't have the fingering so i should change that uh, so what i do is i would um send to edit box and probably the best fingering for this would be one two two so i go here press two press two and i go update yeah and now you can see that this chord has been updated now going over to this the clipboard let's see how we can play around with this first of all i can right click here and i can add to the guitar sight reader toolbox clipboard and as you can see that chord has now been added here now I can drag that anywhere on to the page just like that so I have my C69 now let me just quickly zip over to quick chords bear with me a minute so I click on quick chords and say if I want to grab this shape copy, copy it to the clipboard as you can see there's the previous chord that we copied so I can just go out of that now now this time when I open my chord library I'll see that there are three chords here that I can choose from so I just drag them in wherever I like start putting some fingerings onto them now the chord library like I said will be used for the sight reader primer uh, chords as well as sight reader uh, it will get its chords from whichever chord libraries you decide to to add the other applications for chord libraries are to store chords that aren't featured in quick chords you may find some nicer voicings of some chords or you may just uh, use it for these are the chords to be used in summertime or some other jazz standard uh, you may just want to put uh, your favorite chord voicings or for students you know you can actually make a nice page for students so the advantages of the chord library tool are quite massive and of course you can print this out if I go print there we go uh, let's load up a chord library for example the 251 again load selected don't save and print will look like this So there's your uh, there is your two five one six voicings, and you can print that out for your own study or for students. All right, so that's the chord library. Uh, if you have any questions, you can probably just email me. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Once again, these controls here: the key doesn't do anything. The key change helps you to choose which key and you just simply press key change and click anywhere 
If it's not already the root node, it'll ask you to change the root node. Uh, right there, it's showing me all the root nodes. Uh, so I can just make my chord. Yep. Uh, if I've chosen the root node, but I don't want to choose a root node, I can just press place nodes. It'll get out of key change mode and go into place nodes mode. Get will get um, the currently selected shape. Put or update will put the shape from here into the list. Blank selected will blank it out. Add or remove right separator will do that. It'll add a separator, and we haven't got any separators. If I did do that, I put put, you can see that separator there. Uh, we've got info text, chord text, and you've also got some information. You can press this I and you get information which you can add to your chord library. Uh, I like to do this and give some props to Dixon Macy for these 2516 voicings. So, knock yourself out with that tool and check out the other tools in Guitar Site Reader Toolbox.